own a first or generation uh, Honda Pilot, then you know just how frustrating it is when these vents break. Um, because the vents are about $80 for two of them from a dealership or you have to scour the junkyards to try and find one that isn't broke. Um, but I have a solution for you. So this is what a broken vent looks like. Uh, there's supposed to be a little little, little piece here that uh, is missing on this one. I tried fixing this one to no avail. This one's broke. All a common occurrence if you have people that use the vents back here. So, I took the liberty to sketch these uh, pieces out. And uh, they are 3D printable. So that you can fix your own vents for a portion of the $80. Like, I think all these 3D printed ones cost me about... Uh, two dollars to print and I printed multiple of them here is one of the vents that I fixed with my uh, with my 3d printed vent there's one two and three so after you've printed out your the part that you need to replace on your vent you're gonna take the vents out of the the uh, the vent holder and I use a screwdriver and I'll pry at the corner or you can use a trim uh, piece uh, to remove this one of the trim nylon trim sticks uh, that you can use to get this out uh, so next uh, we're gonna take our screwdriver and we have these four tabs here that all you do is you gently and easily pry at them maybe warm this up with a heat gun so it just doesn't break I've taken mine apart all oh, probably 10 15 times now so all my clips are broken by now fence still works but you just want to do this carefully and do it once, uh, if you can. Now that we've got the two parts separated, we can see uh, the piece that's broken. So all you want to do is you want to pull it out. Here's the piece that was broken. We grab our replacement piece here and we slide it in. Okay, so it's mostly in there. The vents, that part's in. We just push this plastic or this rubber piece right over it. Okay, and we can see that the vent does work. And then we, all you do is you slap these two pieces together. Make sure you put them on the right way. That You can't put them on wrong because it won't physically snap together as you can see. So you just flip it around. Snap it together. Push these little ears down. And then you just stick the vent back where it belongs. And as we can see... The vent does fully work. And uh, if one of these breaks, you can just print it out. I think this cost me a few pennies and about half an hour of time. Much cheaper than buying an $80 vent from Honda. So I hope this helps you, some of you guys out that have broken vents and don't want to cough up the money to get just another Honda vent that's going to break over time since it's manufacturing defects.